Kaya. <coughs> repeating it for five on the side as well. <coughs> Huh, I'm better on this side than the, the other side. So the audio is bad here in the beginning of the workout, um, but it does get back to being good later. Um, for the first exercise, I was doing a landmine alternating jumping lunges. Um, kind of the concept that I wanted to, uh, or theme that I wanted to keep with today's workout is, I guess, keep things light uh, so that it's not like uh, uh, super taxing on the CNS, but um, um, do like more kettlebell juggling, that kind of like flowy kind of movements uh, to, I guess, work more on coordination, but also have a weight training aspect to it. Uh, but yeah, the audio comes back from the next set. <sighs> so for the second circuit on the landmine, I'm doing press to side swing. Going for five each side. After five each side, doing ab wheels with the landmine. So, looks like this. Should feel a really good contraction on like either side of the abs, so I'm gonna switch at five reps because one side. So this is attacking the left side. The left hand is more outstretched. It'll stretch your serratus and kind of the insertions of the serratus into the ab muscles, and like stretch that entire chain out as well. And it'll really give you like a good connected look and the serratus to the abs. Ah, but yeah, <coughs> repeating it for five on this side as well. <coughs> I noticed that my glutes were not tight there and it was creating an arch in my back. So yeah, tighten your glutes. Don't be like me. Supersetting that with some kettlebell juggling, but into some presses as well. So, swing, catch, press. Swing, catch, press. So this way, I get used to having like that kettlebell juggling movement and get used to it being a part of, I guess, how I move and try to make it second nature. But yeah, I'm kind of just freestyling with the kettlebells and those landmine movements um, are what I'm doing. 
probably that was the fourth set probably gonna do another three to four so yeah let's see how that goes so I just realized that the first circuit probably had bad audio anyway it is what it is the audio is back from circuit two and yeah so for the third circuit I'm doing uh, with the landman I don't know why I'm on my knees or should I be on my knees I forget uh, what was the exercise see this is what happens when you have technical difficulties in the middle of your sets and then you forget what you're doing oh yeah I'm doing sideways clean to press I hope yeah it's recorded okay so starting in a perpendicular position staggered stance clean clean press going for five each side If you want, you have the option of doing it alternated. So that would be something like this. But I just think I was coming off as a little douchey, throwing the landmine around. So I just stuck to doing an alternate press instead. Anyway, I'm supersetting that with more kettlebell juggling. So yeah, kind of just freestyling. <laughs> ah, anyway, there's too many people around. I don't want to me tossing stuff around and people are too close but yeah just mixing stuff up with the kettlebells but that's what i'm doing with the landmine <laughs> so here's a good set of kettlebell juggling freestyle But yeah, that's kind of what a good freestyle set looks like. So I've just been supersetting that in the middle of all the landmine movements uh, with no particular pattern. Just trying to mix it up till I miss and I'm exhausted. So here's some kettlebell juggling. So after I did all this, landmine kettlebell juggling supersets i've been doing just some more kettlebell juggling freestyling but i've kind of like broken that broken them down into certain patterns that allows me to 
like work on like certain aspects of the juggling. So what I mean by that is, so I'm doing switch, 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 but then now just one hand switch and catch or flip and catch. So this way I'm just focusing on the coordination aspect of one hand and getting the flip perfect, but also the time between each flip is minimal from the catch to release. So you have to stay sharp. But yeah, uh, so that was one of the things that I was doing uh, as far as uh, trying to improve my coordination with this. Then uh, the other thing that I've been doing is, so I kind of want to improve uh, my like side to side. So uh, what I've been doing to work on that is going this and then switch and then and then back to this so I work on five each side Huh. I'm better on this side than the, the other side. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing as far as the side to side. Um, and then the other thing kind of to improve on my front flips is to enforce a good habit. So when you're doing back to back, uh, at least personally, like you're trying to keep up and you don't really think about the technique as much. But if you throw in a press, so like if you do a press, come down, and then a flip. Between the flips, there's an ample amount of time to kind of consider your technique and not have to keep up with a pace. So yeah, it helps me reinforce a good flipping habit. So yeah, that's kind of how I've been working on my juggling. And I've been doing this for a while. And then I'll head, head into the sauna after. <laughs>